Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a word cloud using Tagzito.com. The first thing you want to do is open Tagzito.com in any internet browser. I opened it in Safari and then once you're in the web page all you want to do is click create and this will bring you to the Tagzito creator page where you can customize your word cloud. Once your word cloud is loaded you can click on the load button and you can enter in the words that you want to include in your cloud and this can be any words that you would like that relate to whatever subject that you're making your word cloud for. Today in my example I'm going to be using zoo animals. So all you want to do is type in your words and separate them by only a comma, no spaces. and you want to do at least 10 words or you could do more if you'd like and then once you have all your words entered into the text box you can hit submit and it will load your words into the cloud once your words show up then you can further customize it um, you can change the color, the theme, the font, the orientation of the words and the layout and you can also change the shape of your word cloud I'm going to change the shape first and as you can see if you click the shape button it brings up a box with all of your options for shapes. I am going to choose this elephant shape and when you click on it it will load your words into the shape that you click on. Next I am going to change the theme and the theme is just um, changing the colors of your words. So you can choose any one you'd like. Obviously you can choose any customization that you would like. Today I'm going to be scrolling down and I'm going to use kimono as my theme. Then I just want to click out of the box and if I decide I don't like how the colors are on certain words I can go to this button here and this is color and it will um, re-spin the colors of my words and it'll I can change it until I want to. So I think that one looks pretty good and then the next thing I can do is I can change the font. So if I go here to font I can hit the font menu and I think today I'm going to use this font and then it'll load all of my words in that font that I picked. And sometimes this changes the colors of the words. So if, again, if you don't like the colors, then you can just hit this color button and it'll re-spin the colors for you. I think that's perfect. So then, if you want, you can change how the words are laid in the image. So if we go down here to orientation and we go to the orientation menu, you have different options. You can hit any, horizontal, vertical, or both. And I think I like how my word cloud is set up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and share. And once you hit save and share, you can just choose whichever file you'd like so that you can save the image to your computer.